that, um, Madam Speaker, we are proceeding in this house uh, like everything is normal, and we are hearing rumors of an air crash involving the CDF, Francis Ogola, and five others. Madam Speaker, that is something of national interest and uh, serious national concern. Our majority leader is here. I think it would be good if he can allay our fears or if it is true, so that we can deal with this. And I think it would be appropriate for us as a house not to proceed with the Land Commission Bill when we're having such a serious national or issue of national interest. Can he confirm whether the issue of the crash is true or whether it's merely a rumor? This is a very serious issue, Madam Speaker. Can we please be updated? Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I hear what the Honorable Mili says. Uh, all that I can confirm, Honorable Speaker, is that it's indeed true that there has been a crash of a KDF helicopter, which we have seen in the news. And uh, being responsible leaders also, we do not want to speculate as to the cause of the crash. We are all awaiting news. We, it is being reported in the news that uh, a number of people have lost their lives and uh, there are few who have survived. I think it's only fair that we leave it to the defense forces and the military to be able, because they're already on the ground, to confirm uh, how many people have lost their lives, how many have survived, and uh, once they identify the identity of those who are there to maybe first communicate to they are keen before uh, the news is broken in any other manner. I think that's the most responsible thing to do. And uh, let me take this opportunity uh, to just convey my condolences to the families of those who may have lost loved ones in that crash and uh, say it is unfortunate uh, that that had to happen, um, uh, I'm told, somewhere in El Geo Maracuet. And I would beg on our speaker that we leave it at that so that we do not get into speculation. Uh, since we do not know which officers were in that flight, we do not know who has survived, who has passed on, so that we allow the relevant authorities to do what they need to do. First, communicate to the families of the ones who may have lost their lives, and uh, the country will be updated by the relevant authorities at the right time, Honorable Speaker. I would really beg that we leave that matter that for now.